Hey folks, I'm here again with Boss Goji. Hello folks. And uh, we're back with some more Pulley Rula. And we are preparing to enter round three, which is, I think, the closest thing to a drug-fueled hallucination you can ever get without actually taking drugs. It's, uh, it's good times, so let's get right to it. Oh, hi, blue head man. How you? Ah! <laughs> Welcome to Pooley Rula, folks. <laughs> there are no therapists. This town is controlled by the dream of a megalomania, and all places are such circumstances. Do you wake up a person who is sleeping in the deepest place of the town and have him recover the town? Yes. <laughs> you know. I can see what that guy meant when he said this town is too head to, for anyone to live in it. Well, thank you for the advice, I think, Miss Wiggly, digitized Japanese lady. Oh, and by the way, right here in the Japanese version is where the magic happens. Uh, we will edit in a clip of that later. We'll, we'll do that after recording this segment. Yeah, it's... it must be seen. It must be fucking seen. Also, I have to wonder, these robots, Rob? Yeah? How do they type with boxing gloves on? Uh... Oh, come on, I had to. <laughs> so, yeah, we've got some bamboo that boogers at us, like you do. And there's a phone. Oh, first death. Yeah, I think that about spoke for itself right there. Yeah, if it seems like we're not saying much, it's because there are no words. Except, Dobimas? Do Dobimas? Dobimas? I don't even know what that means. I'm sure one of our fans does. And right here, that pretty much sums up the inspiration for the whole level, I think. Yeah. <laughs> and sumo ass! It is delicious treat! We've got some drinky gourds, and they're really kicking my ass. As usual, I play much more poorly when I'm trying to talk at the same time. So, basically, this game is 4chan. <laughs> <laughs> and here we have someone who, by virtue of just being a kabuki who swings his hair around, is possibly the most normal sprite in the game. Which makes it all the stranger that he's in this level. Give me some love, Grimace. Now, what does Grimace exactly do? Um, he just makes you invincible for a little while and does some damage to the enemy. That's what pretty much all of the magic does. We might want to hit it up again. Oh, you're gone. Oh, well, we have a limitless supply of, uh, theoretical quarters. A limitless supply of Zacks. Okay, that's probably the most boring magic. It's nothing but a little, you know, sparkle shower. Is this the megalomania? <laughs> <laughs> what did I do? Also, in this town there is not that doll. It is gone. I'll go to the next town. Going across the desert is a shorter way. <laughs> Thank you! Don't dream a strange dream again! <laughs> and Zack speaking for all of us. <laughs> <laughs> now this stage, if I were... No, actually it's the next level, never mind. We'll, we'll get to that eventually. Where is water? <laughs> I like how he's not even asking, he's just stating, where is it? We are also troubled with no rain. Says A fellow called Yu Yu sucked up all rains! <laughs> also, thank you, talking dog. <laughs> so in this world, is pretty much everyone turned into pigs and dogs and platypi? I don't know. Uh, don't try to explain the Puli Rula, man. That way lies madness. These guys are kind of hard to hit. Ah, crap! Scorpion flowers! How does that even exist? <laughs> I... I have no answers. Oh, when I find out who's dreaming this strange dream, I am going to kick his ass. <laughs> Thank you, assless. Oh, no, he's got ass. <laughs> it's pants that the man is in need of. I don't know, it doesn't look like he has a 
particularly well defined ass. It's just this oh, yeah, giant he... blob of flesh. Yeah, he is kind of a pirate's dream. <laughs> oh god. These things slaughtered us last time. Yep. Not as bad as the drinky gourds, but, you know, what is as bad as the drinky gourds? Uh, well, somebody was uh, abusing them when they were making the game, clearly. The problem with the uh, with the bamboo guys is that it's really hard to hit them unless you use the crouch or the lunge, which are hard to pull out at, like, a moment's notice. And these things which are drumming their heads, and then we have a witch which turns into smaller witches. Or is that a dude? I don't see tits. I think that's a dude. Well, it's very possible. No, it's a pig. Well, yeah. <laughs> when all said and done, most things are pigs or possibly dogs. Or platypi. True. I don't think I've ever seen... Holy God, what in... I... <laughs> it, it's... Is it going it's... to microwave them? Apparently. Oh what? my god! <laughs> What was that? <laughs> it was Gay Microwave Sentai Man with cling film. <laughs> it is also the greatest thing I've ever seen. <laughs> that is pretty amazing. Uh, this... And now we take on Chimera Snail. <laughs> I I'm assuming this is Yu Yu, the man who sucked up all rains. D and a very manly scream from Zack there. Yeah. Death by eye, suck. Damn it. This guy seems to have kind of suspect collision detection. Am I even hitting him like at all anymore? No, apparently not. Oh, there we go. I think the game kind of lost the plot for a while there, but we seem to be functional again. Well, Zack isn't, but we are. Yeah, well, at least I get new magic. Let's bust it out. Aw, uh, that guy didn't show up. Yeah, there's one other magic that's pretty good. It's the, the animal stampede, but it's the sound that makes it. I'm sure we'll see it eventually. Are you done now? Thank you. And he turns into... 50 snails. <laughs> Yippee! It's rain! <laughs> I wonder if it's safe. Is it safe? <laughs> Is it safe? Well, there we have another two stages of Pulirula, uh, and we'll try and get that bonus content in with the uh, Japanese version's uh, very special moment. Also, I would like to comment on our magic spell buddy, who is the most amazing thing ever! Yeah. Uh, that may be a rare one. I I've never seen it in all the time I've played this game, which is entirely too much for any person to, you know, maintain their soundness of mind. But in any case, uh, we'll be back soon with more Pulirula. Until then, I'm on. And I'm Boss Goji. And this is... We, we Played, played a, a Thing. thing. <laughs> hey folks, it's time for a bit of Pulirula Japanese version bonus content. And what a bonus it is. Yes, we've arrived at stage three, the dream of the megalomania. And uh, in just a moment, we'll be showing you what the... Uh, what the U.S. branch of Taito Corporation didn't want you to see. It was branded too naughty for arcades. And there's your first glimpse. It's also very hard to get by without taking damage. So yeah. Uh, notice that we've got this door in the middle here. And what is, as they say, behind the green door? <laughs> Let's find out. Yeah. Well, kids, if there's any lesson to be taken away from this, and I do believe there is, it is that the vulva is a portal to deepest space where dwells the elephant. And Zack just doesn't know. Well, always remember that. It'll take you far in life, and uh, we'll see you soon with more Pulirula.